Hello, my name is Cormac Allen. I'm Assistant Head of School at the TU Dublin School of Architecture and I'm in charge of the TU831 BSc Ons in Architectural Technology programme. The TU831 Architectural Technology is a four-year honours degree programme and it sits at level eight in the National Framework of Qualifications. We admit 50 students each year who are based in the Linen Hall building on the Bolton Street campus, close to Grange Gorman. You need six subjects in the Leaving Certificate, two of which need to be at H5. You'll also need to have a minimum of H4 in one of five applied subjects. These are Art, Construction Studies, DCG, Engineering and Technology. CAO points vary from year to year. Uh, points rose to 410 in 2020, but were 388 in 2019. We also admit a number of students through the QQI route. These are students who do not get the required CAO points in the Leaving Certificate, but then complete a level five course related to architectural technology. This is a great alternative route to admission, and these students tend to do well because they have already shown a commitment to architectural technology and know that a technical career will suit them. We really value mature students and hold interviews in June each year. Minimum entry requirements do not apply to mature students who are admitted through CAO Round Zero. The programme is the first and oldest architectural technology programme in Ireland. Our graduates have an international reputation for their technical excellence, work ethic and ability to embrace new technologies. We are proud to have a 100% graduate employment record. Many students secure jobs in architectural practices and construction companies following work placement, which takes place in year three of the programme. Students also benefit from industry sponsored bursaries, such as the Mont Cavanagh Awards and the Moy Architectural Technology Scholarship. Our students also do well in competitions. You can find out more about these on the Dublin School of Architecture website. The programme is professionally accredited by two professional bodies, the Chartered Institute of Architectural Technologists and the Royal Institute of the Architects of Ireland. As the discipline of the architectural technologist responds to technological developments, TU Dublin has developed new postgraduate programmes in areas of professional specialism, which are open to graduates of the architectural technology programme. These include the MSc in Building Information Modelling and Management and the MSc in Building Performance in Energy Efficiency Design, which are quite genuinely producing technological leaders for the 21st century. When considering your course options, it is useful to reflect on the challenges which lie ahead and how these will impact on your career and employment opportunities. As we all know, society must respond to the challenges of the climate and biodiversity emergency. This will be made all the more difficult by continuing population growth, which will rise to over 9 billion by 2040 and nearly 10 billion by 2050. In terms of the built environment, buildings will be designed and assembled differently. Society will continue to need buildings and more of them due to population growth. Existing buildings will require renovation to meet energy performance targets as part of our journey towards a carbon neutral society in 2050. In your career over the next 50 years, you will witness and be part of huge and extraordinary change. The future will, without a shadow of a doubt, be both technological and digital. It will care little for conventional status, but will reward those who have the skills to use technology and embrace ongoing change. Most of our applicants will be sitting their leaving certificate in June, and most will be around 18 years of age, probably born in 2003. Our marketing advisors tell us that you are Generation Z. Google tells me that there are about 2 billion of you out there. When you were 17, the nearly zero energy building standard became law for all new buildings. You will start college in 2021 and graduate at the age of 22 in 2025. Having spent five years at the front line of practice, you will be professionally qualified by 2030. You will have played an active 
professional role in the greening of the built environment. Driverless electric cars will be the norm, incentivized by carbon tax and powered with clean energy from PV panels on people's retrofitted homes. The world will be consuming less meat, and if not, we'll all be in big trouble. At the age of 37, you will be in a world with a population of over 9.7 billion. That's nearly 2 billion more than in 2021. And at the age of 47, you will be in a carbon neutral society. And that's the plan anyway. What all this means is that you will be very busy and well employed, provided that you embrace technology and make it your own. So what kind of work will you be doing? The lower image is of the Tate Modern Art Gallery in London. On the surface, it seems a simple building, a cubic form clad in brick with one side crimped. But under the surface lies a myriad of technologies and materials. A deep excavated basement supports a complex concrete structure. This in turn supports several layers of secondary structure and cladding systems, all designed to achieve high levels of thermal and environmental performance. As a modern art gallery, the building also includes highly sophisticated passive and active ventilation and air conditioning systems, all of which are carefully integrated within an overall architectural design. The realization of this architectural revision requires highly detailed technical design and coordination. This is the territory of the architectural technologist who works alongside architects, engineers, surveyors and contractors in a dynamic, multidisciplinary, collaborative and technological design process with the cloud based virtual building information model at its core. And the bottom line is that you need to understand building technology to give intelligence to the digital building model. And that is the opportunity for the architectural technologist. So if there's a single piece of advice that I can offer, it is to spend time researching the career and programme. To support you in this, we have uploaded lots of useful information on the Dublin School of Architecture website, including samples of student work, graduate profiles and student experience videos. You are probably familiar with the TU Dublin TU831 Architectural Technology webpage, which provides a general description of the programme. It includes links to the Dublin School of Architecture, or DSA, website. You should visit the DSA website, which provides lots more detailed information. Just Google TU Dublin School of Architecture and you'll get a link. The DSA Architectural Technology programme page is great it includes some selected videos of students speaking about the programme, explaining why they chose it and the kind of work they're doing. If you scroll to the bottom, you'll find student work, alumni and staff profiles. The student work section of the website is really excellent. It contains samples of student work from each year of the programme. Each page includes links to PDFs of student work and gives you a really good sense of what the programme is about. Most importantly, it shows just how technical the programme is. While we welcome all applicants, we are always concerned that people might pick architectural technology without appreciating just how technical it is and how different it is to architecture. I would urge you to visit this section of the website and spend some time looking at the work. Make sure you like what you see before finalising your CAO choices. The people section includes awards which give you a sense for the accomplishment of our students, both within the school and externally. The People section also includes architectural technology alumni and shows how our graduates have risen to positions of leadership in the building industry. The People section also includes a range of short selfie videos made by our students and give a really good sense of how they are enjoying college life. A common question is, if I study architectural technology, can I transfer to architecture? Many architectural technology students enter the programme having had architecture as a higher choice. 
Some of these students are interested in design and find that the technical focus of the program does not suit them. Most students find that the technical focus of the program suits them very well and complete successfully, with many progressing to postgraduate studies in areas of technical specialism. A very small number of students apply for architecture at the end of first year, and only some of these are admitted as non-standard applicants. So, thanks very much for listening. I hope you found this brief overview of architectural technology useful. I wish you the best in your leaving certificate and to seeing some of you in September.